welcome once again to James A. Garfield National Historic Site. My name is Ranger Alan Gephardt and we're standing in the bedroom of Molly Garfield. I'm standing in a part of the bedroom that is rarely seen, if ever, by visitors. And right now I'd like to take a look at the headboard on Molly Garfield's bed. This bed is a, an ebonized piece of furniture, that is to say black lacquered. Visitors never get a chance to see the headboard here in the bedroom. We're going to progress over now and take a look at the matching piece of furniture in the room, which is Molly's dresser. On Molly's dresser, there are two photographs that I'd like to point out. One is of her husband, Joseph Stanley Brown. You see him here. Joseph Stanley Brown was President Garfield's secretary when James Garfield was the President of the United States. And he helped organize President Garfield's papers, which eventually made their way into the Memorial Library. Joseph Stanley Brown and Molly Garfield were married in the library here in the house on June 14, 1881, and their first child was Rudolph, and his photograph is also on this dresser. Now we're going to do a bit of a 180 degree turn, and we're going to take a look at a desk that was an 18th birthday present to Molly Garfield from her mother. There are a number of wonderful objects on this desk, a paperweight, a pen set, some trays, and of course some books. And we also have a photograph of Molly with her mother. It's seen here in a beautiful frame. We're going to take a nice close-up of that image. And then I'd like to read for you some excerpts from a manuscript biography of Lucretia Garfield, Molly's mother, written by Molly, date unknown. Father had many nicknames for everyone. He called mother first Squirrel, which gradually became Scudifer, and from that to Scoot. Later she was Burling Slip, for what reason no one knew, but he had some whimsical idea in mind. At that same period, I was Burling Jr. Mother said as a child she had a violent temper. She had it under marvelous control, for none of her children can recall anything but a quiet, calm forcefulness, never any outbursts. We all agreed that we would have preferred corporal punishment to the look she gave us when she was displeased. Yet when we were grown, she often remarked that she might have been so much wiser if she could have controlled herself better. She set tremendously high standards for herself, but had infinite patience where others were concerned. So those are some remarks that Molly made about her mother, who again presented this desk to her for her 18th birthday. Well, this is the end of today's segment. Thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.